Good morning, class. Can I have a volunteer, please, to read today's objective? Elijah. Develop clear research questions and perform searches using credible websites. Excellent. Uh, CJ. Well, the lesson that we were doing today and the essay and stuff that we're going to be doing is just research on a career we would like to do and how to take those steps to find out. Because I would be the first one to actually go to the four-year college and get a degree or something. Great. So is it important in your family? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So what I've started out doing with this process then was just introducing them to thoughts about not just what do you want to do, but why do you want to do it? What is it that makes this job appealing and this job unappealing? I figure I like to help people. Students were then directed to decide, okay, which ones are most important to you? With the goal of that becoming the search query. And then set them kind of loose on the computers on the proper websites to explore what's out there. Books, uh, they don't really draw my attention, so I'd rather go on the internet looking it up and stuff because you get different things from different and you can just compare and, and like contrast. I think informational literacy is so important because it's really just talking about the world that our kids are living in today and the fact that everything they do in the future, especially once they hit the workforce, is going to be on computers. So I feel like it's really my job to make sure that they are getting as much understanding and training in this area as I can possibly work in to make sure that they do have an equal footing. This is the website for um, the Sacramento Public Library System. And there are lots of resources on this website. When we were kids, we looked at the difference between encyclopedias and books and all of those different things. We've got to approach the web in the same way. And being able to educate them about what is a reliable website. What does a .com mean versus a .edu? What do you do to narrow a search term? All of these different things that it really isn't an additional thing on my plate. I guess that's what I've really noticed the most was this isn't a new thing I have to teach. It's just teaching the same things that I've always had to teach in a different way, in a way that these kids relate to. And it's because it's so much more their style, I find that they're much more engaged. It's so amazing to watch my students when you work in this curriculum. They, so many of the kids that are tuned out otherwise, when you bring this in, it's bringing their world into the classroom and a world that they can relate to often they are now in a field that they're experts in. So it allows kids who are often outsiders to actually be the mentor within the class. So it allowed them to start exploring on their own, controlling it, controlling what they're researching, which I'm, I really believe is, is at the center of 21st century learning. It's not spoon-fed education time anymore. They need to actively pursue their education. They can't be passive. They've got to be the one who's making the choices if it's really going to get through to them and make a difference.